Sophie Donaldson. You're watching Editor TV. Tonight we're up on Carnegie Hill visiting the new and improved, beautiful, glamorous Buck House, Deborah Buck's Arts and Antiques Emporium. There's a bunch of designers, architects, and fabulous people inside, and we're going to go take a look. Let's go. Hi, Deborah. Hi, how are you? I'm so glad you're all here, and I'm glad that you're going to celebrate my new Buck House. Me too. So why did you move? Um, well, I started my business with a very small jewel box sized uh, store. I opened the gallery at Buck House, which was at 94th and Madison, um, and it was only open by appointment. This landlord's letting you party, I hear? This landlord is letting me party to my heart's content. Hi there, we're back with Maureen Footer, a terrific decorator and a friend of Deborah Buck. How long yeah. have you guys known each other? I've known Deborah since her first store um, on 90th and Madison yes. Avenue. We moved into the neighborhood at the same time. So tell me oh. something fun you've bought at Buck House in the past. Oh, Deborah always has the most spectacular jewelry. So do you ever go in needing something for a client and then wind up getting jewelry? What well, invariably happens. And not just jewelry, objects and whatever is, as well. So you have a ton of art in here, obviously, because there's a focus as much on art as there is um, antique pieces. And some of it's your own, is that right? That's true, yes. So you were a painter for many years before you ended up in the antiques realm, so how did you make the switch? After I had my son, I was frustrated with the isolation of the studio. I was so joyous um, that I didn't want to tuck myself away. I write for First Dibs on Shop Talk, Features on Dealers, and Designers. Great, right. so have you read, uh, written about Deborah? We have written about Deborah, and we will continue to write about Deborah, particularly this new location celebrating it because she is such a force of creativity. Her adventurous spirit is obviously portrayed here in the colors that she uses. Yeah. I have a, a theory that everyone has a color inside of them. I knew from the time I was a little girl that I must have a chunk of turquoise inside of me. What does Bucky mean to you? Bucky means anything with a confidence and a verb and an unexpectedness and a whimsy. Nice. Exactly this blue and this, like, who would have thought, and yet it seems so right, and right. that's buckiness. So you just walked in and you your eye caught something, no? Well, I'm actually working on a couple of projects right now, and I walked in today after not being here for about a week and found three or four fantastic things that I have to own for next week. Immediately? Immediately. You've been watching Editor TV. Thanks for helping Deborah Buck and El Decor celebrate the opening of Buck House. For more fabulous event coverage, tune in to Editor TV at editoratlarge.com. For Editor at Large, I'm Sophie Donaldson.